Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for September 3rd, 2023, from Revelation chapter 5, verse 6. And between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders, I saw a lamb standing as though it had been slain with seven horns and with seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. So now John sees a lamb, not just any lamb, but a lamb that has been slain, but it's standing. A beautiful reference to the death of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ upon the cross and his resurrection. The lamb is still standing. Earlier, Jesus was called the Lamb of God by John the Baptist. In the Old Testament sacrificial system, a lamb would be sacrificed for the sins of the world and Jesus became that Lamb of God who alone is worthy to open up the scrolls. Now we have to deal with the symbolism of the seven horns in which the seven eyes are the, in which the seven spirits of God are in reference to Jesus Christ. So the imagery of the horn is a symbol of power. For animals, a horn is a weapon and a defense. Jesus, when he dies on the cross, defeats sin, death, and the devil. And Jesus is our source of protection. No one is more powerful than Jesus. So taking the number seven, meaning completeness, and connecting it to this image of power, we have Jesus as the Son of God, and no one is more powerful than Jesus. Seven eyes, of course, God is all-knowing and sees everything, and the number seven, again, noting that number of completeness. There is nothing that God does not know. What about the seven spirits? Well, previously we heard that the seven spirits were referring to the Holy Spirit because of that number seven, meaning the number of completeness. Just as a reminder that there are other spirits in this world besides the Holy Spirit who is true God. But now how are these spirits connected to the Lamb of God? Well, how does this all relate to Jesus? You need to remember that the Holy the Father, the Almighty Father and Jesus sends the Holy Spirit for a purpose to testify who the Son of God is. So the Holy Spirit points us to Jesus. So in this imagery, you have the seven spirits on the one pointing us to the one who can open this scroll. Verse 7. And he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne. John is witnessing Jesus taking the scroll since Jesus is able to open the scroll. What a beautiful sight. Our salvation about ready to be completed and unraveled, so to speak. And John gets to see it and testify it. For the church, God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.